there's an alien with an elongated skull on your dollar bill. This is not a joke. Seriously, check this out. Well, I mean, it could be highly concentrated swamp gas from Uranus, but if you see this right now to the left of me, what does it look like to you? It's like a dollar bill, right? Well, the first one, it's just your typical dollar bill that's folded, or, or you know, it's not really folded, but it's rounded, and you can see an outline of what looks like uh, a skull, an elongated skull, or a gray alien. And then the image next to it, you're going to see the coloring's a little bit more on the outside. It's a little bit darker, so it shows you the outline of it better that way. And then if you look at the image next to that, you're going to see that it's completely blacked out around it, and then the eyes more. And what does that look like to you? Well, if that looks like Barney Rubble, then you might need to get glasses, because to me, that looks like a gray alien. And also, if you look at the center of the the forehead where that's got the you know it's like the the crown not the crown chakra but the third eye maybe that is in reference to the abilities that they have with the the third eye the sixth sense and if they're on the back of our dollar bill what does that mean i mean are they like saying hello are they saying huh, we control your money because do you remember when what was her what is her name her name is karen Hughes, a second species on Earth, controls the global elite. And she talked about them with elongated skulls. Fascinating indeed. I'm going to try and get her on the show. I'm going to get her on the show. There is no try and do. So you can read about that. You can listen to her. There's plenty of articles and YouTube channels that have had videos. Now, I also want to show you this. Auto stereogram. You remember these things when they used to be in malls, when people used to Go to the mall. I guess people still go to the mall. I haven't been in a while. But so you would look at these things for 15 minutes, and sometimes it would take you that long or longer to actually see what it is. Sometimes you could pick it up in just, just a matter of seconds. Well, it's kind of like that with the money. So let's go back to the alien on the dollar bill here. So I've got a, a dollar bill. This is a – let me turn this off for just a second. Okay, so here is the dollar bill. You can see it hasn't been tampered with. And beautiful, brand new dollar bill. So let's let's essentially do the same thing here with the dollar bill and see if we get the, the same result. Absolutely. See that? There it is. Absolutely. Right there. Wow, that is pretty fascinating, in my opinion. So, once again, you know, I'm just a conspiracy theorist, so I'm just looking at things too much. I mean, there's that's just a total coincidence. Total coincidence. Kind of like when you can see some of the pictures on the Internet that show how they can fold a dollar bill and looks like there's two towers collapsing. Total coincidence there as well. There is no such thing as subliminal programming. There's no such thing as hypnosis. That does not exist. That's all in your mind. Uh, this right here is, you can see to the left, those are two Those are two drawings that Crowley did of himself, and then to the right is Lamb. Some people feel like if you go to this website, ac2012.files.wordpress.com, you can see the article that they put together saying that they feel like Crowley when he did lamb, that was kind of a representation of his inner self, essentially. So it's, it's pretty interesting to think about that. And, you know, then you've got communion. You've got the typical gray aliens. We talked about that. So Karen Hughes, the auto, uh, auto stereogram, and then the unconscious mind. I'm just going to give you a, a quick excerpt here. The subliminal mind, the unconscious mind, rules your behavior, evidence regarding perception, decision-making, and the influence of others. Very powerful, the subconscious mind. Darren Brown, if you've ever heard of him or watched his Instant Hypnosis TV series, the guy's just brilliant. The best I've ever seen with hypnosis. He can hypnotize somebody depending on who they are and how aware they are almost instantly sometimes. I've seen him go up to people in jewelry stores, give them fake money that was just literally blank bills, and they would give him jewelry. He would walk outside, and then 10, 15 seconds later, they would walk out, scratch their head like, what just happened? He'd obviously give the jewelry back and ended up it all filmed, but... Really cool. I need to get him on the show as well. 
So what's up with the dollar bill? Transformer, Barney Rubble, a gray alien, a uh, an elongated skull Anunnaki member of the Galactic Council, a psyop. Is that a DARPA psyop? A Tavistock psyop? Are they, you know, messing with people now. Saying, "Oh, look what we're gonna do. We're gonna get people like Rex to come on the internet and show this dollar bill that looks like there's an alien on it." I don't know. Could be. So question everything, be the change you want to see, and hope to see you at X-Fest, May 19th through the 21st. We're going to have a blast out there. If you want to get in on the ground floor on the, uh, basically it's the first wave of, uh, what, what do they call that? If you're in a, not the first wave, but essentially the, yeah, the first part of the development. So right now these bunkers are 25 grand for a 2,000 square foot concrete bunker uh, in a very remote location in South Dakota that's about half an hour away from the Black Hills. Well, if you put together the consider, if you consider the square footage versus something that's twenty five grand, I mean that's an amazing price point. So those prices are eventually going to go up. If you go to X Fest, if you want to just check them out, you can actually stay in one of the bunkers for free. Uh, RSVP, go to leakproject.com as well and become an exclusive member at Leak Project. But back to X Fest, if you want to RSVP, just RSVP that through guest bookings at leakproject.com. And you can also go to terravivos.com. Make sure that you let them know you heard about them through Leak Project, if you would, please. Uh, I'm really looking forward to going out there. I'm taking my telescope and I'm going to take my camera equipment as well. So maybe somebody out there that's into astrophotography can show me how to get this thing to work properly. I was able to get a little bit of footage of the sun the other day when my friend's uh, IBM laptop was here, but he hasn't sent me that file yet and it's not that good anyway. So anyway, that is basically it right now. And I appreciate you being here with me and I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this money. So be the change you want to see.